Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. In today's video we're going to be doing a comparison between the I latest iPad Pro and the brand new Galaxy S7 Plus. Now I've religiously used Apple iPad for the last seven years and I've always drawn on the iPad and I've never used anything else. It's only been recently I've been doing emulation on Android devices, predominantly mobile phones. So I first started with seeing if I could actually do some artwork on a mobile phone, which I think is pretty cool when you're out and about. You don't carry or lug around a big massive iPad with you. You can do some sketches on the go. Come back, transfer it to the iPad and continue sketching. Here's a little example. So doing little sketches, as you know, I'm a sonic freak. I love my digital art. I do sketches all the time. So I was using my mobile phone to do some sketches and then I'd transfer it over and then I'd continue it or not continue. So I did a little painting, as you can see on the left, which is the Samsung Galaxy S7 tab. So the actual painting itself took about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So it's not really a good comparison in the level of how much time and effort that I spent on the artwork. This is more a comparison to see, is it up to scratch and can you actually do artwork on the Galaxy Tab S7? And I can definitely say, hands down, I've never used Critter. This is a Critter, which is on the left and it is Procreate on the iPad on the right. Now, I've always used Procreate, but the problem is with Procreate, I've had a lot of people over the many years of using Procreate say that the brushes just aren't good enough. Now, they've improved, granted, and they work on it all the time. I'm used to it, so I can, yeah, I can adapt to the, the heartache and the suffering with the lack of blending and proper smudge brushes and so forth and no transparency you just adapt but just spending 15 to 20 minutes with the galaxy s or the galaxy tab s7 with critter i've kind of automatically just fell in love with how amazing the brushes were and the interface may look a little bit confusing but it didn't take too long uh, to get to grips with all the details, what I needed to do to create. And as I say, it was literally just a sketch. It took 10 to 15 minutes. And I can honestly say that the brushes themselves work fantastically well. I, I was very, very shocked. Now, It was very easy to use. The pen itself, it's it's really good. And as I say, for for what it is, this thing is like a magic wand. Honestly, I thought the iPad Pencil 2 was absolutely incredible, but this is on another level. They've really, really done some fantastic work here. So just let me just do a little bit of sketching for you. I won't do too much, but everything is straightforward. Really simple to use. Brushes feel fantastic. I'll just lower that down a little bit. Brushes feel fantastic. It's really easy to use. There does seem to be a little bit of a glitch every now and again where, but I think it's because I was using one layer. 
I didn't want to show the painting itself because it would just take too long. And I didn't want to bore you to death. But if you are an artist, whether it be professional or whether it just be amateur, then you can easily only just started happening this little bug that you can see now mm -hmm. might be something to do with critter so as you can see it works really well it's really responsive very easy to use But the blending is so nice. Like you can really build it up and it's effortless. It's it's like procreate, it's so difficult to do. It really is difficult to do, guys. I'm not underestimating that at all. If anyone has procreate, you'll understand where I'm coming from. So as you can see, you can just build it up slowly. Looks really nice. The brushes and the amount of brushes that you have are really good also you can get a really nice flow of art going quite easily The brushes are a million times better than what they are on Procreate. Sorry, Procreate, I love you, but I think I've definitely found a new toy. So, as you can see, it was effortless to do. It was really easy. I absolutely love it. I think the brushes are fantastic and kudos to uh, Critter on Android. Wow, I found my new drawing destiny, I think. That's still not to say that the iPad Pro is bad because it's far from bad. But you're very limited in what you can do with Procreate. It's, it is improving and some would say that it is the best drawing app for iPad. Yes, I really do believe that. And as I say, I've used it for so long. The interface itself is so simple to use. You know where everything is. You've got your brushes, painting apps. I do like it. I really do like it. You can test. The pressure and the sensitivity is equally as good. But... It's the brushes, it's the transparency and the blending. If it, if they had better transparency, so you can not just do the opacity, but you had a chance to do the transparency as well, because it just takes a long time to blend things in. And those track marks, they just remain and stay no matter what you do. And you have to jump back and forth between them all the time. Colour pick all the time, constantly. But on Critter, on the... Yeah, really nice. Don't get me wrong. You'd be happy with either. But I just, I just think the options are a lot better on Android than what they are on Apple at the moment. 
I just, yeah, I, I, I've been so negative towards Android based systems and I've just always assumed that Apple is king and I've always used it. But with me testing out the Samsung Tab S7S or S7, it is just an absolute joy. I really can't wait to start doing some really decent artwork on there, like spending, like this was a sketch. But I can't wait to spend, you know, a good time working on what I want to do, doing loads of sketches, doing loads of thumbnails, and then doing the artwork. The actual interface itself, I know a lot of people were saying that it's um, very jittery and doesn't run very well, but this is incredibly smooth, guys. Critter have done an absolute amazing job. As you can see, it's fluent. I think with this being 120 hertz refresh rate, I think that might have something to do with it, but it's, um, yeah, very nice. The actual brushes themselves, the sets that you can have, what come preloaded. There is so many and such a variety of choice. It's unbelievable. I thought Procreate was good, but this is another level. Yeah, if you are an artist and, you know, not only just for an artist, but I just think the overall experience of having a media center as well, because obviously you want to watch it for Netflix and YouTube and so forth. The AMOLED display is really nice on this and the fact that the resolution is better as well uh, also makes a massive difference in my eyes, especially when it comes to painting and drawing. I just think that, uh, that is really important, especially when you get products like Wacom who've gone up to like 4K resolution. Well, you've got 4K resolution on here. Yes, you can do 4K with the iPad Pro, but as I say, it's... Yeah, I, I've really changed my mind on Android-based tablets. I just think it's absolutely incredible. And the fact that, you know, the Google App Store, it's so naughty. You've got loads of emulators on there that you can just... The, the, there's more choice and you have a lot, a lot better experience with... Google App Store than what you do with the iPad. To do emulation through games on the iPad is, there's just so many workarounds on what you have to do in order just to get games on there. It's just a nightmare. Honestly, guys, I've, I've been incredibly impressed with the new Samsung tab. It's just, it's just an absolute joy. From gaming for everything, the speakers. When I was watching uh, Disney Plus, it was just absolutely amazing with the Dolby Atmos. I can't fault it. I think for the price as well, it's cheaper than the iPad. I think you can go up to quite expensive, like up to a thousand pounds, like the iPad Pro. But as I say, there's just the competition is the the Tab S7. Plus, it's raised the bar. It really is a, a, a very, very, very good competitor towards the iPad Pro. And do I think that's a bad thing? Not really, because as I say, I've been able to do a lot more with the Galaxy Tab than I have with the iPad Pro. And the fact that the S Pen, this version of the S Pen, it's fantastic. The gestures are crazy. You keep a, your finger down on the actual button on the pen and you wave it like a magic wand in certain gestures. You feel like Harry Potter and it, you know, you can rewind, fast forward, go back to the home screen and you're just flicking your wrist. Honestly, you, you just feel like, yeah. Harry Potter, it's crazy. It really is amazing. The fact that there's no battery as well, it just, well, as in no plug-in, 
and charging it it literally just plugs on the back magnetically just like the ipad i just think they've done an amazing job you know i, I really really do i know a lot of people wanted a comparison to 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 see what it was like i can't really explain it too much really i think proof is in the pudding but like just the level of detail that you can go into Like it remains really, really, really sharp, like right the way through. But then you can go, it, it just goes, it goes so pixelated, so you can literally go to the pixels. You don't really get that with Procreate. When you do, you have to go in so much just to get that pixel density. Now that just shows you the clarity of the actual image and the... See, that's probably the same amount of zoom as what it is now compared to the sonic drawing. But then to get that level of density to choose the pixels and what colors that you want, you have to virtually go into a size of a millimeter to get that. So it'd be a pain in the backside to do. Where it's nice that the image stays crisp, don't get me wrong, but I like having this level because it's so much easier to start to blend in the colors and choosing a specific direct color that you want. Yeah, I'm really impressed guys. I just think it's absolutely incredible. If you wish to see an actual painting from start to finish, uh, like what I've done with the iPad Pro, then just let me know, guys, and then I will literally do a painting from start to finish and not just a sketch. But obviously, just for the purposes of the video, and I've only had this for 48 hours now. I am so impressed with the new uh, Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. I think that if you do prefer an Android-based tablet, then this is by far the best Android tablet that is available right now. Obviously, six months time, things may change. You can't go wrong with it, guys. Yeah, if, if you're looking for an Android based tablet, I strongly recommend the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If there's anything else that you wish to see running on either the iPad Pro or the Galaxy, then just let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and as always, take care.